Hey, what's up you guys? Steve from Network Advisor. Floppy disks, you got some of these and you're wondering how you can get the data off because I'm sure you've noticed by now that most modern computers don't come with floppy disk drives or floppy disk readers. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that, what you'll need to get, and the good news is it's fairly affordable. But I also wanna show you a few things about if you have not worked with floppy disks before, they're a little bit different and they can be tricky and I just want to show you what that looks like. All right, let's get started. All right, so how do we get started? Well, the first thing you're going to need is an external floppy drive reader or just an external floppy drive uh, or external floppy disk drive. And one end is going to be USB. I don't know if they make them with the type C with the small ones. I haven't seen one yet. So this is your old style USB type A. And anyway, what you don't want though, is you don't want the kind where you have to put it into the computer. It needs to be an external one with a uh, USB uh, connector. Okay, we're gonna get that connected. Now, I know most of you are probably reaching for your mouse already and you're gonna click away, you're gonna go to Amazon or eBay, you're gonna buy this thing and you're gonna get started. Just earmark this video and come back later when you start having trouble so you can hear the rest of what I have to say. Okay. Okay, so once you've got your USB floppy drive reader, and I'll show you where to get those in just a minute, uh, take and connect it to any available USB port on your computer. And when you do that, on your computer, you might see something that says like new hardware found, or it might say uh, installing device. So that's completely normal. Then, take one of your floppies that you wanna read and insert it. And you should see the light come on if it has a light. So see that little light just came on, that green light. Now, go to your computer. Okay, for those wonderful viewers of you who chose to stay with me, thank you very much. I'm going to go into some of the details of what might not work. So we want to look at our file explorer. Now, a lot of times in Windows, you have this little icon down here at the bottom. On the Mac, they call it the, uh, the Finder. You can launch your Finder app. If you don't see that, you can go to your little search bar right here, and you can just type in the word uh, My Computer, My Computer, and then look for where it says, like, This PC. Click on that. And then what we're looking for in the menus is something called floppy disk drive, and then in the parentheses it'll say A colon. All right, it's possible it might say B, but most likely it's going to say floppy disk drive A. If you have that, then you're about halfway there. Now, if you don't have that, a couple things you could do. You can try, uh, try another USB port on that computer. The other thing you could try doing is rebooting the computer, but pay attention here. If you reboot the computer, with the floppy drive, USB floppy drive plugged in, make sure you take the disk out because otherwise then what happens is the computer tries to read the, the, the floppy disk drive with the disk in it before it will boot up. It's, it won't go into all the details, but just make sure the disk is not in there when you reboot. All right, so try those things and see if you can get that to show up. All right, now once you've got it, you're going to want to double click on it. And what it'll do is you'll, you'll see the disk light come on and it'll begin to kind of make some buzzy noises and that's all completely normal uh if you're not familiar with working with floppy drives they're very noisy and they take a while now when you first get this menu that pops up this is what's called the fat or the, or the file allocation table it is not your files it's just a list of the files the reality about floppy disks is that over time they degrade. So if you've got a floppy disk that's been sitting around for a long time and you've gotten this far, you're in pretty good shape. However, when we go to copy this information, that's where the problem can occur. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'm going to take and highlight all the files and right click copy. And this might take a while because again, when you're working with floppy drives, everything's slower. So at this point, you probably notice your disc is probably, the light's probably flickering. You're hearing all kinds of little buzzing noises. Let me get the microphone down by it so you can see if you can hear that. All right, now this is probably the part where most of those people who left the video earlier are probably coming back because they're saying it's not working. That's right, because when you right click on that list of files, it will probably take anywhere from two to three minutes for it to read those files. And before it will show you this, which is the opportunity to choose copy. And then what I'm just gonna do is just find some other place to store them. So I'll just come over here like to my D drive and I'll create a folder called floppy copy, or that was what I was rehearsing for this video. So let's just make a new one, we'll call it floppy copy two. Floppy copy two. All right. And then just right click and choose paste. 
And this, again, will probably take a while. The only good news is here is that you'll get a visual indicator letting you know that, you know, that it's making progress, all right? And, of course, it's gone back, and it's probably reading the disk again. Again, be patient. This whole process could probably take anywhere from a minute to two, maybe even three at the outside. But when it's done, you'll, you'll see that it's completed. And then at that point, all your information has been copied off the floppy onto a hard drive on your computer. So let's talk about where you can get these and what to look for. Okay, my favorite place to look for something like this is eBay. And the reason is because I don't trust the listings for brand new floppies that I'm seeing in the retail locations like, like uh, Amazon. I don't really want to go into the details. It's just my personal belief, but I believe in buying a used one and particularly one that's a, a name brand from the, the old days of uh, computer like, like IBM or Sony or, or Dell. Anyway, you, what you want to search for is USB FDD. USB FDD, all right? Now, see, again, I want to be careful here. I don't want to call anybody's baby ugly, but I just got a personal belief that I would rather have a used one that comes from the days when that floppy drive was probably originally written because I think the device is more likely to be compatible. Anyway. All right, uh, so let's see. Let's see if I can find IBM because that's the one I have and I really like it. So let me see if there's any IBM ones out there. So IBM USB floppy disk drive. Okay, there you go. There's one right there. 32 is a little on the high side. I was hoping, and plus $16 shipping, that's a little on the high side. I was hoping I could find something a little cheaper than that. I wanted to spend closer to like $20 with free shipping. Well, anyway, you guys know how to work the search tool just as easily as I do. Just make sure it's an external USB floppy drive. All right. And anyway, so good luck with getting the information off your floppy drives, and thanks for watching.